Hello, today we're working on the Grand Power Strybog SP9 A1 and A3 models. We're going to show you how to remove the factory buffer pad and install the HB Industries short stroke buffer. The installation is quick, easy, and the benefits are enormous. It's going to reduce the felt recoil as well as prevent the bolt from traveling too far to the rear. It's a great upgrade. Let's get into it. The HB Industries short stroke buffer is compatible with all Gen 2 Strybog models, whether it's an SP9A1 or an SP9A3, the HB Industries buffer is going to be compatible. The Gen 2 guns are easily identified by the single recoil spring and rod. This is an example of a Gen 2 bolt assembly. Your gun would be a Gen 1 if you have two rods connecting your bolt to the recoil buffer and recoil spring assembly. So again, if you disassemble your Strybog and you see two rods, you definitely have a Gen 1. Otherwise, it's going to be a Gen 2 single recoil spring assembly. The first thing we're going to do is check to make sure this weapon's clear. So nothing magwell, nothing in the chamber. I like to go ahead and make sure that the weapon is on safe and the hammer back. So charge and put the selector on safe. That's just gonna keep the hammer down and out of the way in the receiver. We're gonna use two tools for this installation. We'll use a 3 16 punch and you may need a pick or a flathead screwdriver. So grab your 3 16 punch, remove the stock or brace assembly. Go ahead and drive the pin through the lower receiver. Rotate the lower receiver down and out. And then we're just gonna pull down and back on the brace or stock assembly. So down and back. We'll remove the brace or stock assembly. That's going to allow us to remove the bolt from the upper receiver and the recoil assembly. You don't need to remove the entire bolt. We can just pull back on the recoil spring and the buffer. Let's go ahead and set the other components aside. We're just going to focus on this recoil assembly. We're going to replace the factory buffer with the HB Industries short stroke buffer. You can see side by side, the HBI product is longer, giving it the short stroke effect, as well as made from a different durometer of polyurethane and integrated into the HB Industries short stroke buffer is additional dampening characteristics, which reduce the impulse of the bolt as it recoils rearward. So this is, again, this is a pretty significant upgrade. To disassemble the factory across assembly, we're going to just push down on the spring and remove the collar. Let's see if we can show it. This collar just slides off the recoil rod. Obviously with spring pressure, go ahead and release it slowly, sliding the spring off of the recoil rod. The recoil rod is a two-piece assembly. You can kind of see it here. It's collapsible. Slide the recoil rod assembly the two-piece assembly through the factory buffer retaining the parts of course and then we can go ahead and use our our pick or flathead screwdriver on the back side of the factory buffer we're going to pull like a little collar out like that and this is going to go on the larger diameter or the rear of the recoil recoil rod assembly and on the front side in this front pocket there's going to be another washer or shim or spacer. It's just a flat shim or spacer or washer. And that's going to go on the front side of our, um, of the new short stroke buffer. So with the factory buffer fully disassembled, go ahead and set it aside, grab your HP industries, short stroke buffer. We're going to install the collar into the side of the buffer that says HBI USA on it. You'll also see a countersink, made in countersink for this collar. Slip the collar in small side down into the pocket. Make sure it's flush. Go ahead and reinstall the, the two-piece collapsible recoil rod, sliding it through the collar and flat. At this point, I like to use a hand or a finger on the back of the short stroke buffer just to kind of hold the rod in place while we drop the washer we removed 
back down over, make sure it slips over the large diameter rod and down into the bore of the buffer. You can also kind of slip it down with the spring. So next piece will be the spring, of course. Slide your spring back on and compress the spring. And then we're gonna reinstall this retaining, the retaining clip onto the front of the rod. Slip it on and release the spring pressure. You should be able to turn the rod, the whole assembly once it's installed. So this is a complete short stroke buffer assembly. Grab your upper receiver, go ahead and insert it back into your bolt. Slide the buffer into the upper receiver. Reinstall your brace or stock assembly. Lower receiver back into place and slide your takedown pin back into the assembly. The takedown pin reinstalled. You can function check and we're ready to go. Please don't forget, you can always reach out to us with questions, either on our website, you can call, email, you can even leave comments down below, whether it's the best video you watched today, the worst video you watched. Uh, we're also available on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Reach out to us with any questions. Thanks for watching.